are listening to Wife's Round Table with Amaka. Hello wonderful people, good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of Wife's Round Table. This is the show for the Nigerian woman and my name is Amaka Chibuzo Obi. Here on Wife's Roundtable, we're all about bringing you information that would help you lead a wholesome life. Things that would help a woman somewhere be a much better version of herself is what we do right here on the Wife's Roundtable radio show. Here on Wife's Roundtable, it's our utmost desire that you lead a beautiful, fulfilling, and meaningful life. And a lot of people can't do this because they are afraid. A lot of people are plagued with fear, self-doubt, and so many other limitations that is stopping them from leading a fulfilling, satisfying life. And this is what we want to talk about right here on the show tonight. Why are people so afraid of being themselves of speaking up and of you know putting themselves out there for the opportunities that may come tonight we're going to be discussing how to overcome the fear of speaking up and i'm going to be using a lot of illustrations as well as giving practical tips on how we can overcome the fear of speaking up I have with me today my beautiful friend. She's going to be keeping me company right here in the studio as we discuss this. So I urge you all to stick around. Do not even dream of touching your dial. Why Sean Table returns right after this short break. It's Wife's Round Table. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, you're right on time for this amazing episode of Wife's Roundtable. My name is Amaka Chibuzo Obi. Right now, I want to introduce my guest. Her name is Tonia. Babe, welcome to Wife's Roundtable. Thank you. (laughs) All right. So tonight, we're going to be discussing how to overcome the fear of speaking out. So yes, we know that for us to get opportunities, for us to grab opportunities, or for us to even go for opportunities that are out there, we need to be confident enough to speak out, to let ourselves be seen and let our voices be heard. But the truth is a lot of us are so afraid to be heard. So today, let's talk about that. Tonya, why do you think this is so? Why do you think a lot of people are so afraid to speak up? And this is for everybody, corporate people, yes. entrepreneurs, um, even, you know, regular people that don't have any designation or anything. There's so many people that are just dying in silence. There's so many people that have so much information inside and in value inside of them, but they are so afraid to bring those things out or to be seen at all you know they'll just rather hide and in the shadows and stuff like that why do you think this is so well i feel like you're you're talking to me right now (laughs) (laughs) when i asked you to come on the show there was a reason (laughs) i feel so attacked right now (laughs) because the truth is that i am one of them honestly (laughs) okay i think um i think one of the reasons it's um fear of rejection um nobody would like to come out and say something or try to express yourself and at the end of the day everybody's looking at what is this person saying (laughs) so in your mind you're already thinking "Ah, if i say it this way now i don't even know how people will see it i don't know how to put it and people will be able to understand me better and then criticism some people are afraid because they don't want to be criticized they don't want to feel like a failure they don't want to feel like they've done something that they wouldn't want to do in the first place i have one story i will never forget (laughs) please tell us when i was when i was in school that was my 300 level in school we had this presentation we're supposed to make we were all put in groups and we're supposed to deliver a presentation now we all knew what we were supposed to say which everybody you go to your corner and then practice what you're supposed to say we all had a topic that we're supposed to speak about 
So that day now came, we were in the hall and then everybody, all the groups were coming out and said it was our turn to come up. So we came out and I had already practiced. In my room, come and see me the way I was just, I just stood before the mirror and I was just blabbing my mouth and then making some kind of, you know, when a woman is talking and Feeling you're trying fly to, with only goes to get to that point. And then it was my turn to speak. As soon as I stood up and the way I was so decked up that day, because I was ready, I was so ready for this presentation. <laughs> Only for me to open my mouth to talk. The first, I just made a first sentence for me to say the other one. It, it was as if the whole crowd were just upon my head, like they, everybody was looking at me. I just totally forgot what I wanted to say. Oh my God. It was as if the ground should just open and let me just enter. Did I you was, complete the presentation? I had to go back. <laughs> I just excused myself. I told the lecturer that please, I needed some time to get, come, yourself get myself together. together. So he allowed me and I left. I just went out. I left the hall entirely. So my my group members, they continued. And later I came back. I now had to redo those stuff all over again. But it came out, but not as much as I would have wanted it to come out. <laughs> I can but imagine, that day, I honestly. was so shy. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, I didn't, I didn't go for lectures at all. You I had made to yourself stay. scarce. Yes, so that I had people to. forget. <laughs> So I sometimes that it's, it's, it can be so... I know that a lot of people can relate to Tonya's story right <laughs> now. Like, a lot of people have had this moment where they froze, where they knew their stuff, not like they didn't even know, know it, it. But to bring it out now became a problem. problem. And it could happen in public speaking. It could even happen in private speaking. speaking. But with somebody that you feel is so much more influential than you are. It could ha even happen on social media, even with the fact that we are all hidden behind mm -hmm. our devices yeah. there's still people that are so ashamed and so afraid of letting their voices be heard, heard even on social media mm -hmm. as small as making a post they have beautiful of, ideas but honestly, they don't have but yeah. exactly i've met people who tell me that they can't even put up their pictures on social media because they are so afraid of what people will think See. about them so these are all ways that we do not speak up and these things are making people not live to the fullest of their, of their potential and that's why i decided for us to talk about it today the truth is each and every one of us have fears mm -hmm. even those people that you see are super confident mm -hmm. everybody has something that they're they afraid, afraid of. of but the difference is that some people know how to manage those fears know how to push those fears down and rise above them and that's what i'm hoping that we'll be able to help people do to. tonight on the show so the very first thing is to ask yourself why am i afraid, afraid. so you rightly said afraid of rejection somebody told me i'm like, i'm afraid i can't speak good english so i'm always worried that people would um criticize my, my english. english and i'm like i had to reel out a number of people that i know are doing fantastic Mm -hmm. with their indigenous languages, languages or with pidgin there's so many people that we follow on social media that we know that when it comes to english these ones don't know how to really speak yeah. it but it's not about the english it's about the value you carry, you carry. and value does not have a language. language that's what people need to understand value does not have a language value is value spoken in pidgin spoken in Igbo, spoken in english in any language in any language value is value mm -hmm. you know what i mean and i've come across people who tell me oh god everybody around me are graduates i didn't graduate from school and i ask them does common sense come with a certificate uh, it doesn't it doesn't at all there's so many people wielding certificates today who do not have common sense and there's so many people with huge common sense who do not have certificates. Certificate. I will pick common sense over a certificate any day. So these are all things that our minds tell us to keep us small, to keep us hidden, hidden. to keep us stuck. We hear, and make you know, us feel like we don't have value. Absolutely. And you know you do. do. You know you do. And this is one thing that I've seen so much with people that I coach. When you're living a life of bottled up value, 
it has a way of eating you up. Oh. You're not happy because mm-hmm. you look you out can, there. You can never be. You happy. are not happy because you look out there and you see people who need what you have, and it and just you eats pe- you and up. you see people that are doing things that you can even do better. You can do hundred times better, and they are doing way better than you. You can't complain because it's nobody's mind, you're fault. Telling, you're telling yourself, ah, this thing I can do it better now. This person is not doing this thing as much <laughs> as I can. Absolutely. But what is stopping you from coming out to do it? Absolutely. So it's the fact that we have not really sat down to challenge all of these thoughts in our minds. minds. That's what it is. Because when those mind chatters come up to tell you, you're not good enough, who do you think you are? to you know say these things you ask yourself you speak back to the mind because i'm always so big on challenging your mind Mind. have a relationship with your mind that's love hate kind of relationship Mm -hmm. when it's doing well love it when it's not hate it you know so have a relationship with your mind so that you can challenge it so that you can be aware when it's pulling you down, down you know so when your mind begins to tell you who do you think you are ask it who am i not like am i less valuable than the next person. person what makes me less valuable than this person your mind could tell you you're not pretty enough you ask says who i have a, a full-blown conference with my mind though i could sit down like this it will talk me i will talk, talk back. back it will talk <laughs> me i will talk back you know so especially need, when it's trying to put in those negative, negative things to words. pull you down yes we need to have these conversations it will tell you a lot of things and you need to be aware enough to know what it's telling you and empowered enough to challenge, challenge it. it so let's go for a very quick break right now when we come back we're going to continue on how you can overcome the mind chatter and the fear that is keeping you from speaking up. We'll be right back after this. It's Wife's Round Table. Wow, this has been an amazing conversation. We've been dropping some rema right here in the studio. Tony and I were discussing how to overcome the fear of Of speaking speaking up. up. And speaking up is not just about speaking with your voice. It's also about showing up. It's also about being seen, seen, standing up. You know, lots of us have so much to give, so much to share, so much to say, but we've just been so, you know, paralyzed by fear. What if they reject me? What if they say I don't know it? What if they question what if my... What some people find fault in what in, I just said? In what said I now. just said, you know? So all of these fears have kept a lot of people stuck, a lot of people living less than fulfilling lives. And we don't want this for anybody. That's why we're having this conversation tonight. The second tip I would give for overcoming the fear of speaking up is for you to ask yourself this question. If my life depends on taking this action I want to take, is this feeling I'm feeling right now enough to stop me? To stop me. me. That's a question Mm -hmm. that we need to ask ourselves. So let's assume... Because if it's a matter of life life and and death, death, you you will will do it. Absolutely. You will. That's the thing. Especially when you know that your life is at stake. That's the truth. But the thing is that a lot of us feel like we can get away with not doing it. it. And that's why we just say, please, let me just leave it, John. Must I say it or must I show up? If we felt as though we did not have a choice, like somebody told you, if you don't do this thing, I'm going to chop off your head. Would you You still not do do it? You will do it and do it. You will do it and stand and ask the person, is there any other one you you want me to do? You won't even know where you start doing it. That's the thing. We need to realize that our lives actually depend on us showing up. Because there are so many people who have gone to lengths they could not even dream of before. They've gone to lengths they could not even imagine that they could get to just because they showed up. Or just because they, you know, they spoke up I at know. a particular time, yeah. it changed their lives in ways that they could not even and have it could imagined. Just be that once. We never know when it will be. 
that's the funny thing we never know when it will be so we do not even have the choice or the chance to say oh okay it's not today that my destiny helper will mm. come let you me know, you try don't tomorrow know when it will be. be so we all need to always show up and always speak up if your life depended on taking that action is that mind chatter or that fear strong enough to keep you from taking action we need to always think of consequences because honestly without consequences lawlessness will be the yeah. order of the day so if you think of the consequence of not speaking up and if you look at that consequence as something that you cannot afford, afford. then you will speak up yeah because when you feel like you can afford not to say anything you just say please let me just leave it mm-hmm. because that day if somebody had told you that day you you wanted to do your presentation if somebody had told you tony are going there i'm with a gun outside here uh, if you come back out here without doing, without that, presentation, doing that presentation i will it will come out by force <laughs> <laughs> i don't mind if i have to start saying rubbish but i, I must but say you something will speak. i must say something that's the <laughs> truth the fear mm-hmm. of losing has to be higher and stronger than the fear of speaking of not up, saying anything at all of not saying anything so that's number two tip if you really want to speak up pretend your life depends on it because the truth is your life may actually depend, depend on, it. on it and then number three that i always tell people is what's the worst that, that can, can happen, happen. this one is something that uh, we always always need to ask ourselves the what's that the can worst happen? that can happen i say this right now what's the worst that can happen somebody says oh tony is talking rubbish so it next the... time you will learn not to talk rubbish talk rubbish you will learn from that or you learn and then you e- move exactly <laughs> you make yourself better or somebody says oh look at how she's looking she's not even fine herself so will that stop you from having dinner or being that, alive or be or, or living and <laughs> or breathing living and breathing so when we ask ourselves these questions it will really help us overcome these unnecessary fear and all of those things that keep us stuck so if you're listening to me right now and you're battling fear self doubt low self confidence and all of those things you may really want to get a hold of my free ebook it's titled how to gain confidence to take action in just 6 days it's a program that i prepared as an ebook and you can download it once you go to my website it's www.amakobi.com very easy www.amakobi.com you'll get your free download of how to gain confidence to take action in just 6 days this ebook will take you through a 6 step process that you would use to elevate your confidence level so that if there is anything that you've been wanting to do any action you've been wanting to take i guarantee you that once you're done reading this ebook you would be flying towards that opportunity without even minding all of those fears and limitations without looking back honestly <laughs> all of those things that have kept you back in the past so thank you so very much tonya it was such a pleasure having you today and You're welcome. i'm going to get you a copy <laughs> of that book right after this so that I you would um learn how to speak up more how to stand out more and how to let your light shine, shine. because honestly we're all lights of the world mm-hmm. and we all need to shine in our different, different corners ways. my name is amaka chibuzobi until i come your way next week love everyone around you but most importantly love yourself because you can't give what you don't have by for now